Hey kid, come here. Hey kid, come here, come here. What day is it? It's Friday. What do we do on Friday? Watch the Friday show. It's completely idiotic. My name is Will Pearson, and this is the beginning of me in 2022. I'm here with Reese, and I'm here to ask her, what's your New Year's resolution? I'm trying to get a job, finally. Well, your bank account also agrees with that. <gasps> I'm here with Reese 2.0, and I'm going to attempt to save my money. So no Taco Bell? That's an exception. <laughs> I'm here with Sammy, and I'm going to try to go out to eat less. You need to. What's up, Wildcats? I'm here with the Cameron Bulgard outfit from Goodwill. Uh, to not eat as much Taco Bell. It's healthier and it'll save the bank account. Yes, it will. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here with uh, my best bud, Bryce Calkins. Uh, I cut weight to be a men's Bible player. Beach or just in the gym? Beach. A little beach guy. Yeah. There's this New Year's resolution. This is me, Will Pearson, January 1st, 2023. Later, cats. All right, I'm here with... Savan. Caleb. So why did you choose to be an orchestra? Um, it's really fun. Uh, I actually want to make this a career of mine. You know, I want to make money doing this. I plan on going to college, going to Western for my, um, what's it called? Okay. Undergrad. And then, you know, I just I just really want to make, make money doing this. I love doing it. Music is my passion. Okay. Well, um, I grew up playing the violin, so when orchestra came around, I thought it'd be fun to do it in school. What is your favorite thing about orchestra? Um, personally, it's making music, you know, obviously, but uh, I kind of like uh, in bigger orchestras, like if you go to the youth symphony, uh, you see a lot of people that are just really interesting. You know, a lot of people from different backgrounds, but we all come together and make music, so I think it's just kind of interesting how we can do that as musicians. I like the people and like the friendships I make. A lot of my friends are in orchestra. Which favorite song you learned in the class so far? Uh, Storm. It's a seventh grade piece, but I, I just really liked it. So who was your number one Spotify artist? I'm just kidding. This is a trash can. We're going to go around asking students and teachers who the number one Spotify artist is. Hey guys, I'm here with Bryce and Reese. Reese. Who's your number one music artist? Travis Scott. Bryce? Lil Baby. Nice. <laughs> what up, Bogart? What up? Who was your number one Spotify rap artist? Lil Baby. Gutsy. I'm here with Mr. Howard. Hi, how's it going? Good. Who was your number one Spotify rap artist? Rapped? Rapped artist? Rapped artist? Well, like of the year. Like who did I listen to the most? Yeah. Trivial. Dicey. I'm here with this guy today. Darth Plagueis. Who was your number one Spotify rapped artist? Beethoven. Gutsy. Hey, Sammy. Hi, dude. I have a question for you. Okay. Who was your number one Spotify artist? Uh, Jack Bryan. Nice. What's going on, Peyton? Um, not much. All right. Who was your number one Spotify artist? Tech Nine. Sweet. So, who was your number one Spotify artist? Just kidding. This is another trash can. Thanks for watching, Wildcats. And then what happened? So today we interviewed band kids and asked them why they picked their instruments, part two. So I hope you guys enjoy. What's your name? Chloe Trout. My name is Gavin. My name is Michelle Ralston. My name is Drew Caparis. Nico Ralston. What grade are you in? Ninth grade. I'm a senior. I'm a senior. I'm a senior. Freshman. What instrument do you play? Bass clarinet. And why'd you pick the bass clarinet? Um, well, I originally wanted to do Barry sax, but then I found I could just move to a bigger clarinet. And I was like, oh, cool. I want to do that one. So I just chose that one. I play the trumpet. And why'd you pick the trumpet? Because that one guy in Little Einstein, his name is Quincy. He played the trumpet. I really want to play the trumpet. That's great. Mm -hmm. I play percussion. And why'd you pick percussion? Because I like drums and mostly playing on keys. I play trombone. 
And why did you pick the trombone? I picked the trombone because uh, I just like the sound of low brass instruments. I was originally gonna play baritone and then hopefully switch to tuba, but trombone fit my eye more, so I chose it. And also it's because that my siblings were in orchestra, so I wanted it to be different. The trumpet. And why'd you pick the trumpet? So one day I was walking home from school and I think it must have been a sign from God or something, but it just hit me. A trumpet fell out the sky and it literally just hit me. So that's how that's how I picked the trumpet. Wow. That must have hurt a lot, huh? A little bit. Okay. Bye guys, have a good day. All right, so this week we'll be asking people what their best present for Christmas was and what their worst present was. What's up, you guys? We're with Ruby. Today we're asking Tammy. We're with Nesbitt. This is Malachi. This is Alice. With Sammy Reed. And we're going to ask her what is the worst present and the best present you got. Um, the worst present I got this year was socks, and the best present I got this year is shoes. <laughs> favorite present was over Christmas? Um, my favorite present was that I got to see Will over Brady. And we're asking her, what is her worst present over Brady? Pajamas. He's gonna tell us what his uh, best Christmas present was. So I got the, the best Christmas present I got was a book. What was your worst? The worst I got was a book. What was your best Christmas present you got over Christmas? I think my best was AirPod Pros. What was your worst? Um, my mom got me this really ugly poncho thing. <laughs> it also turned into a blanket and I tried hard enough. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep. He's gonna tell us what his favorite Christmas present was. Uh, a fairy gun. What was your worst? Uh, some candy. What? I could try and get bigger. You know? <laughs> She's gonna tell us what her uh, favorite Christmas present was. Um, we had a family trip to Mexico. What was your worst? Probably getting food poisoning in Mexico. That is tough. That is tough. Have a good day, Wayland. What's up, y'all? As our feature this week, I really thought I wanted to dive deep in to my partner, Brett Baltimore here. So I asked him to film a few videos of his basketball practices over the break. Let's go check in of what it takes to be a basketball player. Woke up early this morning, came in, had practice, time to go catch a nap and some food. And what position and grade are you in? I am positionless and I'm in 12th grade. Sweet, sweet. Um, as a basketball player, what's the schedule looking like every week? Well, you know, normally we got practice every day after school. If we don't have practice, we're playing a game. But like over break, we had practice at 8 in the morning. If we had a game, we'd shoot around in the morning and then come back for a game. Yeah. Pretty rigorous, man. How do you manage to keep your body in shape? I eat junk food. It's a great solution, man. Thanks, Brett. Yeah. What's up? Yo, I got the rock in my hands.